I'm Bob Lawrence from the Center for a Livable Future at Johns Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health, and I had the pleasure of presenting last year. It's great to follow Maisie. Uh, I worked with Fidel on the Pew Commission on Industrial Food Animal Production, along with Ralph Laglisi, who's in the audience, and uh, Bob Martin, who is the executive director and now at the Center for Livable Future. And I can echo everything that uh, Maisie has said about this remarkable person. Uh, sourcing food from the right sources is such a powerful tool to reforming the food system. And we've heard a lot of examples of that today, and certainly Bon Appetit is one of the leaders. Well, what's happened since last year at the CLF? Uh, Sid Lerner, sitting up here uh, in the front, uh, and I conspired 10 years ago when Sid had the idea of uh, recreating the Meatless Monday campaigns of the war years, World War II and World War I, uh, and we provided uh, technical and scientific support. And Meatless Monday has non -gone, now gone viral. And I was just commiserating with uh, Sid earlier in the week when uh, Al Gore was on Ellen. Some of you may have seen him saying he's adopted Meatless Monday, but he misattributed it to Paul McCartney. <laughs> Paul McCartney was the founder of Meat Free Monday in the UK three years ago, seven years after Sid started Meatless Monday in the US. But my commiseration with Sid, and I don't think you've really taken it to heart yet, Sid, is that imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. So we are applauding Paul McCartney having picked up this idea, and for Al Gore having started it in his personal life as of January 1st. We've also spent a lot of time this year working with uh, the UN Special Rapporteur, Olivier de Schuter, who will be visiting at the State Department's invitation next fall to assess the adequacy of our food system to respect, protect, and fulfill the rights that all Americans have to safe, healthy, wholesome, affordable food at all times. That is a big, big step, and Olivier has his work cut out for him, but we are uh, working with him. LaDonna was with us in late November, a group of 30 people gathered together uh, to work helping uh, him prepare the kinds of questions that he needs to ask when he examines our food system. We continue to work closely with Food and Water Watch to advocate for change in our regulatory agencies, especially FDA and uh, USDA, EPA have been called out already. I want to add my voice to the fact that it's time for them to start doing their job to protect all of us in a healthy food system.